gang, gang, gang shit. Y'all already know what it is. All right, check this out. You guys are back on the episode of Blue Devil Reactions, and I'm Blue Devil. The video we got today is titled Police Surprise Child Predator Trying to Meet with Minor. Another sick individual, another sick puppy, another weirdo, you know, another grown man trying to do uh, things he shouldn't be doing, another R. Kelly, another King Yella. You know, the list goes on and on and on. Now look, check this out before we press play on that video. Uh, if you guys are new to Blue Devil Reactions, go over, hit the subscribe, run up the likes, run up the comments. You know, help the algorithm so we can blow this page up. Other than that, if you guys follow us here and don't follow the main page, go over to the Hater World and hit subscribe. Other than that, check this out. Today is Friday. Uh, we will be going live at 7 p.m. Uh, live music reactions so we're gonna be live all the way from 7 p.m until the until the request stop so if you haven't pulled up make sure you pull up tonight 7 p.m other than that if anybody wants to hit me up about business anybody wants to talk to me directly or maybe just troll me and tell me how gangster they are and how i'm i'm a nobody then go hit me up on Instagram, at the Hater World. I will tell you this, I reply to everyone, you know, so I'll hit you back up regardless, you know, uh, you know, within an hour, two hours, a day, two days, who knows. All right, but uh, other than that, let's watch this video. Uh, once again, police surprise child predator trying to meet with minor. All right, let's go ahead and get you guys a Blue Devil reaction. Let's get it. In November 2022, investigators from the Racine County Sheriff's Office partnered with the FBI to initiate an online investigation targeting adults seeking to meet with minors. Sick fucks. In the beginning of the month, an individual reached out to the investigator, who he believed to be a 15-year-old girl, through a... an anonymous social media app called Whisper. What the For fuck? several days, the 43-year-old man soon identified as Chad Van Swole messaged the investigator Wood. making statements of concern. He stated he liked younger girls and that he had concerns that a 15-year-old girl could get him into a lot of trouble when the investigator... They're not stupid, bro. They know, see? So there's no feeling bad for these cocksuckers. There's no feeling any kind of sympathy. They're fucking aware that they are breaking the law. You know, they're aware that they're doing something they should not be doing. They're willing. Check this out. This is why you shouldn't feel bad, all right? They're willing to take that 50-50 chance that it might be a child or it might be the cop. They're willing to gamble their life away for some child, you know, right? So if they're willing to gamble it away, and if they were to hit to where it wasn't the cops, they'd continuously do it, not caring, happy because they get what they want, right? So if they're if they're willing to gamble gamble their life away, and then they meet up with the cops, bro, nobody should feel bad. Send them to prison for life because they know the consequences. They know the consequences, and they're willing to gamble it. So come on, because I know there's people out there that try to make uh, try to make excuses for people like this. ...made the comment, as long as it doesn't weird you out that I'm 15. Chad replied saying, not at all. I told you, that is really hot to me. He further referenced specific sexual acts he wanted to do with the fictitious girl. On November 7th, the sick individual traveled from Burlington, Wisconsin, roughly a 30-minute drive, to meet at a designated location in Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin. Little did he know, an entire team of law Hell enforcement yeah. personnel was waiting for... See, a lot of people would be like, fuck the cops, fuck the cops, fuck... The this is when you're supposed to applaud the cops. All right? When they're putting crooks away and they're doing their job. See, I'm going to tell you like this. One time I, I had a hoodie that somebody sold to me and they had a flag uh, with a blue stripe on it. I didn't know what the fuck it was. And people were telling me like, bro, you support cops? You're a bitch. You support cops? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, even though we're gangbangers and gangsters and come from the streets, 
you know, we're not supposed to hate cops. Well, I mean, why would you hate a cop? They're doing their job like you're doing your job. You're, you're a gangbanger and a crook. They're the peacemaker and the, whatever else you might want to call them, right? The lawman. That's what they are. Like, we just playing the game, bro. The janitor is the janitor. The school teacher is the school teacher. The gangster is the gangster. The cop is the cop. Why hate the motherfuckers? You know what I mean? Like, And then not only that, but they, there is some good cops. There is some good cops. You know, not... You can't disrespect all cops because of one or two or a few hundred assholes. You feel me? There is a rival. But before we continue, let's hear from today's sponsor, oh, Bucked fuck Up. Your sponsor, Struggling man. to focus in workouts? Discover a new level of con. That's a fusion. I don't know. Hey, don't, don't laugh at my cup either. I need to get a pimp cup. With all the diamonds in it and shit. That's him, that's him, that's him. That's him. He's here, he's here. Show me your hands! Get down on the ground, do it now! Get down on the ground! On the ground! Sheriff's office. Get your hands out of your pocket. Your Look at that back. sick fuck. He got uh, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. You guys can come up. He got hot Cheetos. He got condoms. After being taken into custody, it was discovered Chad had brought a fresh bag of Chick Fil A and contraceptives with him for the sick fictitious fuck. girl he believed to be real. Sick fuck. No excuse. You got anything on you? Yeah, Any condoms. Kind of weapons? No weapons. Knives, anything else you pick? Poke me, stab me. You got gloves on? Alright, stand up. Oh, fuck, you're sick in the head, homie. Wait, didn't we watch this video already? I'm gonna go check the vehicle. Yeah. They look so familiar, bro. They look so familiar. Nah, the other guy was there in his car. Oh, come on. Let me look it up, bro. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a different whip. The other fool had a truck. All these sick fucks look alike. Five, four, one in custody. You know what's crazy? When I was a youngster going to middle school and high school, you know, I used to wear big size 48s, size 50s, Frisco bands. I was never a Ben Davis guy. I was, a, I was always a Frisco guy. The FB counties. And I used to carry so much shit in my pockets, bro. So much shit. Knives, lighter, weed, change. Uh, 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 I had a little, I had like a little, like a little electronic book that you can, uh, it, it was not a cell phone, but it was like a little notepad. And you can type in in there and I would have my homie's number saved on there. My wallet. I had so much shit, right? Now I wouldn't even carry my keys. Now I'll put the, I'll put the, uh, the, uh, the FOB, the little, the, the what I don't whatever it's called that little chip that little key for your car I'll put that shit in my sock I won't carry nothing not a house key not a wallet nothing at all my phone I'll have a credit card and a twenty dollar bill on the back and that's it and the keys in my the key for my vehicle is in my sock so anytime that I get in my car I just gotta open the door like this when I get off I gotta press a little button on top of the handle and that's it I don't gotta do shit fucking hate I hate Having shit in my pockets. Not even a wallet, bro. How many can really relate? Leave it in the comments. Live in your waistband. No. That's where your stance. Yeah, that's it. Stick your tongue out at me. 
Fuck that wood. Fifty-one twenty on one. Did you copy one in custody? I did copy. Thank you. Joel, we're good with yours. Yeah. I can grab a bag from. Got a car keys? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna double lock this real quick. Just face the squatter. Come on, what's your Just get a little with? bag to throw his stuff in quick. Hey, salute to those cops, yeah, though, for real. Condom. Of course you have your hands. What's that? I don't know what she's going to want, except for bags, or we can do that later, too. Anything else on you that we need to know about? Anything sharp, any weapons, or anything like that? Okay. I'm gonna do, I know we just searched you, uh, but honestly, you're going in my car, so um, I'm going to just put that down. He going away for uh, a very long time. Key oh, key fob. There you go, see? A key fob. I knew it was something like that. Like FOB, FAB, fuck a bitch. You know, some shit like that. Who's going to pee at it? FBI? God damn. Um, can we, uh, uh, seriously, does somebody have, like, a camera or something? Still she a bad bitch. Can I have, we can, we don't I have my camera. I'm in that fool a tweaker, tweaker. Damn, look at that fool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a work one. Yeah, that one. Here, is this? Opposite Damn, that fool going away. He's going up the river, homie. You guys still rolling? You shut off. Huh? You still rolling? Anyone? Um, I think I'm racking, racking my the sheriff later made a public statement saying, based upon their tireless efforts and investigative skills, the sheriff's office and the FBI were able to arrest yet another sickening pedophile Good. hoping to sexually abuse a child. The sheriff's office will never waver in its duty to protect the community, and especially children. children. Facts. Look at that sick fuck. Chad was charged with felony using a computer to facilitate a child sex crime. On top of that, he also received a $200 citation for operating while suspended. Ultimately, his cash bond was set at $25,000 with conditions that prohibited him from having any contact with underage females and from using any internet connected Say devices. Say he didn't post it. Head over to Code Blue Cam. Oh, come on. At least let us know if he posted the fucking bond. Man, that's a sick motherfucker, bro. Anybody that touches children like that, listen. I can only imagine that if I, if I had children and there was a sick motherfucker like that, I couldn't tell you what I could do. You know, what I would do. You know, but if somebody were to touch my nephews like that, and only because of this, let me tell you something. Bro, you're supposed to let kids be happy. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I, know, I know homies that be dressing up their kids in Louis, Gucci, all that shit. And I'd be like, fool, take that shit off. Let them have little fucking Ninja Turtle shoes. Let them have little fucking pink shirts for the for the little girls. Let them get dirty. Let them enjoy being kids, homie. Let them enjoy get you know getting dirty in the mud and 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 you know let them enjoy that shit. You want to dress them up and make them look all fucking gangster and dope? Come on, bro. Like let them do that whenever they get to that age and they want to do that. Let them do that, bro. I got a nephew that's in eighth grade. He, he looked like a nerd, right? Not only looked like a nerd, but he's still all into his, like, elementary school stuff. And I think that's dope. I think that's dope because it's like you got to you gotta get as much as you can out of being an a underage child, bro. Even if you are 16, 17. Because once you hit 18, my boy, it's all responsibilities from there. So juice that shit as much as you can. Let the kids be kids. Let the adults be adults. And then when the kids turn 18, be there to guide them and help them through their journey. That's it. Like, come on. Like, it ain't it ain't even hard, bro. It ain't even hard. But what happens is a lot of parents give up 
after one little error or some little happens, they give up, and then the kid don't care no more. There's no, uh, there's no uh, uh, structure, and all hell breaks loose, you know. And it's just don't give up and be there. That's it. It's very simple. But check this out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, we go live today, 7 p.m. Pull up, show some love. Uh, I don't even know if I got any uh, uh, hater world Southsider reactions. Go over there and check it out. If, if I do, run up the comments, run up the likes. Uh, other than that, I'm going to end this video right here. And uh, I do know that I got another Blue Devil reaction. So go over there and look it up or hear whatever. It'll already be up by the time you're done with this video. But other than that, I'm going to kill this video. We're laying color day. I hope you guys enjoyed this one once again. I'm Blue Devil, and we out. Blue Devil, gang, 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 shit, you already know what it is.